Hi, I'm Mike Massimino, and welcome to another episode of Inside the International Space Station. So you're more like a real estate agent, is that right? Mama, I'm coming home. And like a snuggie. Feel free to add, you know, the little hack marks I made every day that I was up there. We're going to go into the Mission Control Center, into the control room, and speak to two of my friends who are in space, Mike Fossum and Dan Burbank. And Dan just arrived. He was supposed to get there a couple months ago, but he got delayed because they were concerned with some problems with his rocket. They fixed all those, and he launched successfully. He's up there now with Mike, and I can't wait to see him and see how they're doing. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's get rolling here. And uh, you know, first off, it's, uh, thanks very much again for letting us come and visit with you. Mike, it's great to see you again. And Dan... It is really a blast to see you up there. I'm really, uh, really enjoying seeing you up there. Congratulations. I got to ask you, though, Dan, when you launched, and we watched you launch, and uh, it, was, it was a blizzard. It, I mean, that's the way it, it looked. It must have been a blizzard to you, too, right? Uh, it, and, and I was just wondering, you know, like, what, what were you thinking about launching in a blizzard? Were you, when they closed the hatch, were you like, let's get out of here. I don't want to go back outside because it's cold. That was my first question. What was that like? And second, yep. what, what were you wearing? Because they looked like you were walking out to that launch pad in like a Snuggie. So I wasn't sure if they just woke you up or if you were taking that thing with you to watch TV with Mike in space. You know, what was with that getup you were wearing going out to the launch pad? So those are my questions. Yeah, I mean, at the launch pad, I think all of us were thinking, let's get up to space somewhere safe. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was really cold and really snowy down there, but... Uh, but and as for the, the the special garb that we were wearing, that's um, I, I don't know that they've ever been worn before, but it's a, a kind of a, a parka, snow parka for a spacesuit in the in the Soyuz rocket, and it was kind of cool to get to be the first ones to ever wear those. All right, and, and for Mike, now you know you, Dan was supposed to be up there a couple months ago, and he just just arrived. Did you hide stuff so he wouldn't see the mess? Is there any surprises? Did you make any booby traps for him? What, 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 what do you got going when, right before he came? What's, what's, what should he expect? Hey, there's booby traps all over this place. <laughs> he had to dig out his crew quarters. Had been used, I, his crew quarters were literally my closet for a couple of months. Hey, he's not Still here. Right. He doesn't care. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I just, uh, you know, spread my stuff into his, uh, his crew quarters. It was great. And this is different than having company come over, though, because he's not company. Uh, he's taken over the house, and so you know we cleaned up what we can. We're still cleaning up. We'll be cleaning up for the next couple of days till we close the hatches, and then it's not my problem anymore. So you're more like a real estate agent, is that right? No, well, it's a, it's a timeshare. You get it for six months, you hand it over to somebody else. You know how that goes. <laughs> All right. Now, for for both of you guys, uh, you know, normally crews would have quite a while to hand over a couple months, I guess, to uh, for you guys to say, hey, this is how everything works, and you know, how, how, did that, how did that change what you were going to do? You just show him how to work the kitchen and the toilet and the playroom he figures out on his own? Well, first of all, we, it started a few months ago when we knew that they were going to be delayed. Within a week, we started actually videotaping some of the handovers that we would do up here in person. I started carrying a camcorder around and uh, walking around the house, if you will. Here's, here's where you uh, beat on the uh, garbage disposal to get it to uh, work when it sticks. And uh, here's you know, all those kind of things to, uh, to expedite the process because we knew we would not have much time. Yeah, and from my perspective, you know, our, our goal here is to take the few days we have and not sleep at all, not eat at all, <laughs> only talk. And it's a fire hose treatment as I'm trying to learn everything I can from, from Mike and, and Sergey and Satoshi, but, uh, but uh, we're trying to get there. All right, Mike, you, you know, you've been, you've been up there for, for a while, over six months now. It's time for you to come home. And um, what, what are you going to be doing these next couple days? What are you going to be doing? But there's probably a list of things that you want to make sure you take with you. What, what, what's on that list of things you make sure that you're going to have with you when you come back? Uh, the first would be the pictures of my family. I had, I've had pictures up here for the whole flight, and uh, you know they keep me company up here. And one of the biggest deals for being gone so long is missing your family. Uh, and so I've got have those things, and, I, and I've kept them really close, and most of them are already packed in the Soyuz spacecraft for the ride home. So I have, you know, those, those, uh, those things are already packed. Uh, my uh, Aggie banner that has uh, adorned the, the, uh, the, uh, the space station for the last few months is uh, carefully packed away for the ride home. So, you know, I have everything important and uh, we're ready to go. Actually, you don't bring much. It's not like you're, you have lots of suitcases coming up here. And so 
Uh, most of the clothes will, uh, will uh, be a part of a, a shooting star on a Progress spacecraft uh, someday soon. Dan, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? I mean, I know you've been looking forward to this uh, mission for a long time. What's it like to finally be there? And what, what's, your, what's your impression? Been here twice um, on, on two shuttle missions, but uh, space station was nothing like this. Not nearly this big, not nearly this impressive. And and for me, the the two shuttle missions coming out of those, I knew that two weeks wasn't quite enough to be in space. And uh, to do a long duration and actually be able to do the science on station, that's going to be just a treat. And uh, one of the other things, kind of on the personal front, one of the neatest things is to look at the planet scrolling by beneath you, you know, from space station. Um, there's no window on a shuttle, no window on a Soyuz, no window on any spacecraft we've ever had that compares to the cupola that we have in Node 3, this incredible 360 degree panorama as you see the entire Earth horizon to horizon come by beneath you. And that's going to be really, really neat. We have uh, our special guest. I think you'll be able to see him coming in here. A mystery guest for you guys who wanted to come and say hi. And Hey guys, hey Dan, welcome to the space station. It's good to see you up there. Hey Ronnie, it's great to see you. Yeah, thank, thanks Ron. Man, it's good to see you back there. I think we only had just a quick uh, couple of minutes in passing when you got back and I was on my way out here, but uh, but uh, you've left this place in great shape and it's, off, it's awful, awful neat to be here right now. Well, it's sure good to see you guys up there, uh, both of you together. And uh, hey, I wanted you to, uh, we, you know, Mike, uh, Mike has taken this uh, time-lapse photography to, a, to an art form. And it's, uh, you know, it's really making a big stir down here on the Earth. And, uh, you know, we're not going to have him up there anymore in a couple of days. So we want to make sure that you're going to uh, pick up and run with that while you're up here. Yeah, he's, he's been briefing me pretty heavily on, uh, on photography as well. I know how to turn the cameras on now. I, I can guarantee you that much. But, uh, but it's going to be a little while before we start getting downlinked images like Mike's been doing and like you were doing before. Be tomorrow. No, no way. No way at all. But anyway, i got a long way to go on that front. So, so Dan, did you move into Ron's room? Is that is that the way it works? Yeah, I did, and, I, and, and as as much of his stuff that I could find around here, I've sort of cobbled together too. But yeah, I'm in I'm in Ron's old hooch right now. It's great, real homey, just just like I'd uh, just like he'd left it, I think. So, so feel free to add, you know, the little hack marks I made every day that I was up there. <laughs> feel free to just keep adding to that if you'd like. Hey, and Ron has a Ron was telling me that you know, he he wrote the. Uh, the ISS Blues, right? Wasn't that the name of it, Ron? I, I think, I think and then you guys right. together, Mike, you and he wrote a, a sequel to that. A, you know, a, what do you call it? A sequel or part two? A sequel's for a movie. What do you say for a, for a song? I think it was the conclusion. The conclusion. It was the ISS Blues part two. Can you hum a few bars for us? Is that ready for, for release? Oh, no, 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 no. I was the cameraman. I was the cameraman. Ronnie, Ronnie had, the, uh, he had the blues and uh, he had the guitar. So, uh, we had a lot of fun with that. I haven't seen the uh, I haven't seen the uh, redo, the, uh, the 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 finale right before you left. I haven't seen that version yet. Yeah, well, well without giving too much away, you know, I remember that uh, the camera, the uh, the guitar was taken from me, and we had a passing of the guitar, and that there was supposed to be a, a, another song that was going to be written, and maybe even performed uh, for everybody uh, before you went home. And, you know, you have a couple of days to go here, so I'm, I'm just curious when we're going to when we're going to hear that song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch! Yeah, that's that's part of what we're working on up here while we're not sleeping. Uh, delay the undocking if we need to. Yeah, we'll delay the undocking if we need to. You got to have priorities. We really appreciate your time, guys. Uh, we know you're busy, and you got to get on with that handover, and uh, and really appreciate you letting us in to say hi. But I was wondering, and I know Dan, you haven't got anything prepared yet, but you do have that that guitar handy can you give us some exit music or just something maybe you know a little uh, just a little strumming on that on that uh, guitar we would really we would really love to see you playing in space if uh, if you don't mind <laughs> all right all right here's a little here's a little something uh by james taylor actually we uh we spent a little time in Baikonur pre-launch with uh, with our with our docs and our Russian doc Alexei Grishin, who's on his way right now uh, to uh, to Houston to be with uh, with our U.S. doc Smith Johnston. And this was one of his favorites, but uh, we'll give you a couple bars, or we'll try. <laughs> I come from Alabama 
with his banjo on my knee. And I'm bound for Louisiana, my own true love for to see. It did rain all night the day I left, the weather was bone dry. The sun was so hot I froze myself, Susanna don't you go on and cry. And we'll leave it there. All right, all right. <laughs> we got music on the station again. <laughs> that thing hadn't been played since Ronnie was here. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Dan, thanks for obliging us. Uh, you see your, your guitar floating away. There you go. And uh, thanks, thanks so much. And uh, Not far. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Mike. Hey, we look forward to seeing you here, Mike. And you're going to be leaving in just a couple of days. And uh, we look forward to seeing him back here. Uh, we'll see you back here in Houston in a few days. And Dan, we look forward to watching you. Up there, it really is great to see you guys together. And Dan, congratulations on and getting up there. And we look forward to uh, to watching you the rest of the way. And we'll see you soon, Mike. Yeah, you bet. Hey, thanks uh, both of you, Mass and Ron, for coming in and talking to us. And uh, if you guys get some time, you know, down the road here, I'd love to do it again. Yeah, and uh, Mass and Ronnie, good to see you guys. And it's been a great time up here, Ronnie. I loved sharing space with you. And look forward to uh, going down to uh, spend a little time on uh, our favorite planet. Mama, I'm coming home. See you soon. <laughs>